to put it in simple terms, that Jesus is fully God and fully man. It's a non-negotiable. These religions and cults will often begin to separate is on the deity of Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ specifically? We are justified by faith, and faith is only as good as who you put it in. So if you believe in a false Christ, your faith is useless because faith in a false Christ is uh, of no value. You know, one of the, I think, the most damaging things to uh, come into contemporary society is what would Jesus do? Because you can make up your own Jesus to do what you think he should do. It would seem that that if Jesus is not God, then we have some serious problems with the Old Testament. So the Nicene Creed is making an argument here that is based upon Scripture. So again, it's not that the Creed has the authority in itself. They're using scriptural arguments and they're making a case here for the deity of Christ. Three men show up and meet Abraham and two turn out to be angels and the other one Abraham worships. And then it says that the Lord reigned, the Lord, meaning the Lord on earth, rained fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of heaven. You start seeing passages that, hmm, wait a minute here, this sounds like even though there's only one God, this one God is more than one person. For I am God and not a man, the Holy One in your midst.